All right, so we've got a prop here in Marmoset Tool Bag 4, and we've got everything set up on it for our main material. Got our normal map, albedo map, and all of our gray packed masks going on in here. But we also have a glass material on this particular prop. So, how do we approach glass in Marmoset Tool Bag 4? What we're going to do here is we're going to look at the easiest way to get it started and get it going. So for our particular glass for this lantern here, I have gone in and uh, really worked it in Substance Painter. So I've got my standard normal map, albedo map, and my gray packed uh, map with both my ambient occlusion and my roughness in it. So. As you can see, when I imported my model in, it has the two different textures on it. It's got the main lantern texture, and then it has the glass material as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up this glass material on this lantern right here. And we're going to use the standard setup from the beginning. I'm going to drag my normal map in here. And this is made for Unreal Engine 4. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and make sure the Y is flipped. We can see this normal map detail down here at the bottom. I have an Albedo base color map for this. So you can see how that comes across here. And now one of the things when you are exporting glass based textures out of Substance Painter with the Unreal Engine 4 gray packed uh, output template, it's going to stick your opacity into the alpha channel of your Albedo map here. So we're actually going to use that uh, a little bit later here in a minute. So we're using a standard PBR metalness roughness workflow here. So let's go ahead and come down to microsurface and we're going to change this from gloss to roughness. Uh, pretty standard as we have done so far on other pieces. And I'm going to drag this in here. Now it's a standard ORM out of Substance Painter, meaning our roughness is in the green channel. So we make sure that's set to G. Uh, so now I've got this glass here and you can see in the roughness I've got my uh, fingerprints going on through here uh, as well as some other roughness variations on this. Um, I have all of my uh, color variations and value variations, everything from the standard texture machine that you would work into this in your layer stack. Uh, but now we need to start thinking about making this glass. So first order of business, glass typically is not going to have metalness. And so rather than using the metalness workflow for our reflectivity, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to change this to refractive index. And you don't really see anything happening just yet. Uh, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to work with the transmission. So you can come down here and you can start working with transparency. Um, but before you worry about that, you want to come up here and you want to find this transmission section. And we're going to click on this drop down. We're going to change this to refraction. And now you can see that suddenly we have transparency on this without having to even set up the transparency down here. So if you remember from Marmoset Toolbag 3, uh, we would go in, we would set our transparency, and we would use the add mode. Uh, for this here in Marmoset 4, our main transparency that we get for things like glass is actually going to come from setting our transmission to refraction and then setting our reflectivity instead of metalness to refractive index. 
Now, if for some reason you do need to do something crazy where you have both the transparency and a metalness value, this refractive index here is going to let you go ahead and plug in a metalness map if you need to. Uh, but now we can take this, we could come down to transparency, we set this to dither, and what you'll see is that this gives us a much clearer view through this glass, which may or may not be what you want. And so this is going to, by default, use the albedo alpha. Now, if you for some reason need to have a little bit more control over it beyond uh, the basic alpha in the Obedo, you can always come in here and add it to um, another map. Say, for example, with this one, uh, I have my opacity also included in the place of the metalness on my ORM map. So I could drag this in here tell it to not use the albeta alpha and instead use the blue channel here which I do have slightly updated from the albedo alpha uh, it's not much updated but it is a little bit brighter so it's not as translucent so when you are setting up glass just remember that transparency is an option here. We don't have the add anymore, so you would want to use dither instead. Cutout's gonna be straight black and white. That's not what you want. We can see that right here. It's gonna do some weird conversions. So dither is the one that you would want. Uh, but you can also work without it because your primary mode of your translucency here is going to come from your refractive index and your transmission here.